What's going on guys? It's Dramon and welcome back to another episode of NBA Kicks. This is the show where we showcase the best sneakers in the NBA from the past week. So if you like basketball and you like sneakers, you have come to the right place, my friend. If you've already watched the show and you're enjoying it, please consider leaving this video a like and subscribing to the channel because new episodes of NBA Kicks will be hitting your feed every Monday for the rest of the season. And you don't want to miss any of the episodes. You don't want to miss any of the heat. So like, comment, subscribe. This is week three, episode three. Let's get started. Kicking off the list at number five, we have Carl Anthony Towns with this custom colorway of the Nike Hyperdunk 2018. Now, Cat wore this sneaker on Halloween, which was very festive of him, but it also coincided with the release of the new Halloween movie, which stars everybody's favorite slasher, Michael Myers, who you can find on both the lateral and medial side of this custom, which again was done by one of the most prolific sneaker customizers in the game, Kickstradamus. Everything here from the color palette to the artwork is absolutely spot on with my favorite detail being the blood spatter on the midsole. And Cat actually wore a second colorway on Halloween, which was a Pennywise custom. And don't get me wrong, it's equally as impressive, but I don't like clowns, so I gave Michael the spot here. Next up at number four, we have Frank Nilakina with this ID of the Nike Kobe AD. Now, the reason why I'm giving my guy Frankie the number four spot here is because we are currently in an era of crazy sneakers with crazy customs, crazy designs. So it's refreshing to see a colorway like this, which uses the iconic New York Knicks color scheme expertly. This Nike ID sits on multiple shades of gray, which really allowed those New York Nick orange and blue hits to really pop right off of the sneaker with the iridescent metallic heel cup catching my eye the most. But overall, this colorway in its entirety is again, a really nice breath of fresh air. And that's why you see it here on this list at number four. Coming in at number three, we have Josh Hart rocking the Nike Air Fear of God. Now, yes, I know PJ Tucker was the first one to rock this $395 Jerry Lorenzo collaboration with Nike, but he rocked it with white laces, which don't get me wrong, does look clean, but the black laces that Josh Hart rockies with is a way cleaner look in my opinion. Now the Nike Air Fear of God isn't necessarily a basketball performance sneaker. It's definitely more of a lifestyle silhouette, but it was co-designed by Kevin Durant's signature sneaker designer, Leo Chang. So I'm sure there's enough performance features here to hold up on the court for the 30 minutes that Josh Hart played during the Toronto Raptors which makes me think that these should be renamed to the Nike Air Fear of Toronto because LA got smacked. Next up at number two, we have Myers Leonard with this custom colorway of the Nike LeBron 15. This custom colorway uses a gradient red to black fade on the upper as well as a metallic gold swoosh on the heel, which really makes these look like an old Miami Heat Championship PE. But if you take a look at the midsole, you'll see some amazingly detailed artwork that features some excellent landscape designs, as well as a tribute to the iconic Trailblazer squad that won the 1977 NBA championship and also had one of my favorite players of all time, Bill Walton. Throw it down, big man. All right, so before we get to our number one spot, we got to shout out the retro of the week. This award goes to the guy who went deep into his closet and wore the best sneaker from years past. This week's award goes to Markel Fultz for rocking the Nike Zoom Soldier 1, which originally released in 2007, but just recently got a retro in celebration of that iconic LeBron James performance where he just absolutely took over in the Palace of Auburn Hills on his way to his first ever NBA Finals appearance. Finally, at number one, we have Kyrie Irving debuting his brand new signature sneaker, the Nike Kyrie 5. Now, I'll be honest here, I'm not a huge fan of the Kyrie 5's visuals, but the reason why I have it as the best sneaker in the NBA from the past week is because debuting your own signature sneaker has to be the most baller thing you can do in terms of basketball sneakers. That is a moment that kids all across the world, including myself when I was a youngin, dream of being able to do when they grow older. And watching Kyrie literally live that dream, it's pretty cool. And to be honest with you, this sneaker isn't too shabby itself. I really like the camo graphic that's placed on the upper as well as the orange hits because it gives this colorway a real Duck Dynasty-like vibe 
What I don't like is that huge swoosh. It definitely takes some getting used to. But the good news is, is that the launch colorway of the Kyrie 5, which releases November 22nd, features a more reasonably sized swoosh. So if you don't like this colorway, be on the lookout for the Black Magics, which again, released November 22nd. So there you guys have it. Those were the best sneakers in the NBA from the past week. Remember, new episodes of NBA Kicks will be dropping every single Monday for the rest of the season. Be sure to click on my logo right over here to your left to subscribe to the channel so you never miss an episode. And if you want to watch all the NBA Kicks episodes, click this playlist right over here on the right. My name's Jaren. It's been great having you. Catch you in the next one. Peace.